using in this as well. Right? Transformation. So you need to be well versed okay, with how to convert from one form to another. By the way, this this is uh, square root form. This is called uh, index notation form. Okay. Well, of course, you don't have to you don't have to know the names. But next time, if you see, please get it into index notation. So this is called index notation. Okay. So therefore, then you can actually find the coordinate of stationary point. What's the meaning of stationary point? It's the turning point, the maximum. Meaning. Yeah. So basically, stationary point can be max or mean, or mean right? Right. Yeah. So what is the what what the question wants you to do? Like we need to differentiate it. So stationary point. Equation. Correct. So stationary point, stationary point means they want you to get dy dx equal to zero because stationary point means the gradient function. If you sketch the 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 the, the yeah, it's the turning the, point. It's the point where the gradient is actually equals to zero. That's why you make this conclusion. Okay. Right? So now, so you just have to divide the x this one. How you yeah. how you divide the x this one? Yeah. Have you done this? No, that's why I don't know. I just start with this. Then I. What is the? Eh? Why your this minus two? I don't know. Oh, I think it's from the square root. I thought it's minus two. Okay. Question mark. Never mind. So I need to differentiate. So this falls under the special function. So differentiation, once again, when you differentiate special function, write down the formula. Dx, oh, e ex e e ex. E. Yeah, e x is equal to e x. Then uh, uh two x is equal to two x. <coughs> yeah, I still wrote okay. this down. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Okay. You see this differentiation is like logarithm. Okay? If you can't remember the logarithm rules, you can't do log logarithm question. Same thing. If you can't remember the dif by the way, this falls under the special uh, differentiation functions, right? Yeah, Not like the bring down the power. Right. Yeah, the size. Okay. You did you you get all this from me or your? From you. Okay, good. Your so video. so yes. So this is unlike the the the, the bring down the power, bring the power to the front and then power minus one. Okay, so you really need to identify if this is special function. If it's special function, you need to differentiate using special function rules. If not, you know what is going to happen? You will say, oh, happy, uh, bring down the power, power minus one, gone case. Don't look at my face. You bring down the power, half x, then the half x minus one, yeah. gone. Gone already. But isn't it wrong? That's, that's why it's gone. Okay. Okay. Okay, so so you need to identify this is special function. Look at your special function formula. I mean, you can refer to them um, when you do practice questions. Exams, no, these are not given. So uh, this one, since e x is e x, I write it one one time. Okay, and okay. actually for this question, you should differentiate this one. This layer first, the outer layer first, and then the inner layer. So you peel the onions. Okay? One by one. Okay? So therefore you differentiate the e to the power of half x, you end up with e to the power of half x, right? Yeah. Then you continue to differentiate times, uh, continue to differentiate the half x. You get? Uh half. Half, okay. Okay, so that's how you how you are uh, so the first term done. Okay? Second term, same thing. Write it once. Because this is the first layer. Oh by the way your four is actually a coefficient. So you don't need to differentiate coefficient. You just take it out. Okay. Right? Mm. Okay. So therefore now you can differentiate the, this part. So when you differentiate half negative, negative half x you get negative half. negative half. So you differentiate the x you get one. 
Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. So this one gone. So this. So this is your first derivative. I can write it in this manner, or I can write it in this manner. Oh yeah. So the second derivative has two apostrophes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So done. So you just have to equate this to zero. That will give you the stationary point. Are you clear? Yeah. So this will be solving um, algebra already. Okay? Mm. Mm. So what I see is, I see, but of course, when it comes to solving algebra, this is minus. So of course, when it comes to solving algebra, then it's really back to the really basic question already. Um, this one, actually, you can do it this way. You bring it down. I will tell you why I bring it down. So from this, okay, why I choose to bring this down, do you know why? Oh, so that there's no negative power. Yeah, so that I can. How to solve this? Uh, I would I would first take, put it as a common denominator. Thing. Like how? Like e half, e to the power of half x. Wow, you cannot recall that technique. Get it to you. Oh, okay. Common. Okay, I will leave it to you. Once you find the u, then you can figure out e to the power of half x. Okay, I'm so a bit sad that you cannot recall this technique. Yeah. This is logarithm chapter. Okay. Yeah. So the next question will be determine the nature. So how do you determine the nature? You do second derivative. Yep, do it second derivative. So when you get the second derivative, at, because you're going to have the x value from here, right? Yeah. You'll get the x value, right? Then you just sub in the x value, which is here. You sub it into this second derivative. If the second derivative is more than zero, so it's happy, right? Yeah. Positive means happy phase, right? That means so this is a mean, yeah. right? If the second derivative value is going to be bigger than zero, it's, it's uh, a max. Yeah. Right? So if it's zero, no conclusion. Okay. Go back and do it first. So the nature, we say like it has a maximum point? No, like the point is a maximum point. So that's the nature? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay? So I will leave this to you. 